Hi guys, welcome to our channel Cadbury AutoCAD tutorial for beginners. Before we proceed further, if you are new to our channel, do hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon to get regular notification about our upcoming videos and don't forget to press the like button to support our work. Do share this video with your friends on Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. Today's video will discuss about how to do workspace settings. To start with the very first one setting is drafting settings. The shortcut key for drafting settings is D settings. So I'll type D setting on from my keyboard on the screen. You can see a dialog box appearing on the screen which states snap and grid, polar tracking, object snap, 3D object snap, dynamic input but we only have to work with object snap there are various snap modes available we have to select all these snap modes are basically points available which can be used while using commands so i'll press okay after selecting it next step is to set units for the units, the shortcut key for units is U N. Enter. As you can see, the box is appearing on the screen. So firstly, the type is in decimal. We have to change it into architectural units. Then we have to change the precision. The precision should be zero feet zero inches. Then the unit to scale inserted content should be in inches. Then press. third one is options shortcut key for options is op enter now there are various tabs available in option settings the first one is files then is display open and save plot and publish system user preference drafting 3d modeling selection profile online now since we are not supposed to work in all the tabs in the option settings I'll start with display in files there is no setting required so we'll directly move to display tab in display all these options which you can see are selected which are ticked are by default which will be available in every version of AutoCAD so there is no need to change any of the options so we'll straight away move to open and save now the most important settings in open and save is file save which state as save as so it has to be in AutoCAD 2007 LT 2007 drawing now LT means the lightest version that is also known as the universal one because if you are uh, saving your file in the higher version and you are sending it to other person and the other person doesn't have the higher version so the file won't, they won't be able to open up the file so it's better to save the file in lowest version so we have 2007 LT that known to be the lightest version then plot and publish again no settings required system nothing required user preference again these are by default selections drafting by default selections are available already ticked now is auto snap marker size in case if you wish to change it to a bigger one you can change this that is completely optional Aperture size again that is optional. 3D modeling since we are not working in 3D, so we won't be changing any of the settings. Selection. Now please make sure that while changing the settings in drafting and selection tab, you need to see if you have changed the auto snap marker size in selection tab, your pick box size should be approximately same. Grip size is okay profiles online these are the basic settings required so once you're done with the settings there is apply tab 
press it and then press ok so we are done with option settings the last setting of workspace is dim style now dim style the shortcut key for dim style is dim is dyle that is dimension style manager there will be one by default standard annotative dimension is available which will appear on your screen so we are supposed to modify it so you can see there is set current option is available new modify override compare we will discuss all these options in our next videos while using another command in details but as of now we will only do the settings and modify so I will click on this modify tab firstly I will change the units you can see primary units tab is available as I have changed in the second uh, command units so I have kept it architectural so I will make the same setting here architectural precision 0 feet 0 inches you can see immediately the unit of dimension has changed from decimal to architectural now it is appearing in feet and inches so now I'll move over to text the text text height I'll be changing it I'll be making it to 8 inches so that it can be visible on screen easily I'll press ok once I'm done with the settings you can see the changes in the preview so once you're done with the settings don't forget to press set current because if you not press the set current button all your settings will be gone so I'll press set current and then close so now I'm done with the basic workspace setting required for any drawing and to add on with if you wish to work with grids you can retain them if not just press F7 to clear up your screen and whatever command you will be inputting you can see them in the command bar this is all for today thank you guys for watching our video in case you are new to our channel don't forget to click on subscribe button to subscribe to our channel also hit the bell icon to get notification of our upcoming videos click on like button to support our work you can also share this video on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp with your friends. See you guys in our next video. Bye bye. Take care.